Howdy from Destination Everywhere. We're roaming Wyoming, the cowboy state, and this is part three. We're right here in Northwest USA. We're your hosts, Mandy, Orlando, and that's Abraham. In this video, we go to Thermopolis, Bighorn National Forest, Powell, and Cody. We're going to a spa town in the mountains to soak in the healing mineral waters and take a scenic drive through Bighorn National Forest to experience unspoilt wild Wyoming before we go to Heart Mountain. You won't believe what happened here. And our last stop is a riot, the rodeo in Cody. And just wait till we tell you what these crazy kids were doing. Wyoming just keeps getting better and better, so come with us and see for yourselves. Let's start this road trip in Thermopolis, Wyoming's hotspot, famous for its mineral hot springs in Wyoming's oldest state park. We cross the Bighorn River and find the rainbow terraces, geothermal rocks of limestone, gypsum, and white, yellow, and brown travertine. There's a boardwalk for safety because these waters are boiling hot. The state park is a great place for a stroll or to feed the koi in the koi pond. There's a picnic area too, so you can picnic or fire up the barbecue and look out at the crystal clear waters. The Native Americans knew the powers of these hot mineral springs hundreds of years ago. The Shoshone tribe called them smoking waters and the Crow tribe called them medicine waters. The technical term for dunking yourself in hot springs is medical bathing or balneotherapy and people flock here just to soak and get rid of aches and pains. But it can smell of rotten eggs in places. You've been warned. Let's get a bit of fresh air, shall we, and walk over to the Swinging Bridge. What do you think of Wyoming's oldest state park, Abraham? It's a nice place for my walk, but somebody was definitely farting over there. <laughs> Ready to soak? We have choices. There's Star Plunge Hot Mineral Pools Recreation Center for family fun with an outdoor pool, indoor pool, a steam room, sauna, and water slides and game rooms for the kids. And that costs $15.50. It's the same price for Helly's teepee pool and spa. That's the one with the copper dome. Also lots of family fun with pools and slides open from 9 until 9 most days. But our favourite was the free State Park Bathhouse where you can soak in the mineral waters for 20 minutes. It says 20 minutes but no one's really checking so you can probably squeeze in a good 30. I won't tell. Abraham, we're sorry you weren't allowed to soak with us, but there's no need to sulk. It wasn't very nice that they didn't allow dogs. I'm just saying. The next stop is the rural sleepy town of Ten Sleep. And the reason we went there was for a cheeseburger at this place. One cow for their award-winning cheeseburgers. We couldn't resist, always following our stomachs. And they did not disappoint. There must have been at least one cow in my burger. It was huge! Let's slow things down a bit and admire this gorgeous scenery. On these long drives through Wyoming, the scenery changes quite drastically from lush green hills to snow-capped mountains. Are you alright back there, Abraham? 
I think it's about time for my walk. Well then, let's make a quick stop at Meadowlark Lake. Oh, and I want to stop here too. Just look at this view. For me, this is quintessential Wyoming. This is Heart Mountain in the middle of the countryside in North Wyoming, a beautiful heart-shaped mountain with wildflowers, but that's where the beauty stops. Heart Mountain was a concentration camp for the Japanese for three years in 1942. I knew about the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii in 1941, but didn't know that it was intricately connected with Heart Mountain, Wyoming. After Pearl Harbor, all Japanese people were seen as the enemy, no matter that they were American citizens. President Franklin Roosevelt stripped them of all possessions and forced them to live in camps. No trial, they were automatically assumed guilty of terrorism and dehumanized, tagged like pieces of luggage. Remember George Takei from Star Trek, Sulu? He was also incarcerated in a similar camp at Tool Lake, California. This story is unbelievable. The museum and memorials outside are curated by the people who lived there so they can tell their story. They have reunions every year so that the incarceration of people of Japanese ancestry is never forgotten. Heart Mountain is absolutely worth the stop. A change of pace as we hit Cody. The rodeo capital of the world was founded by Buffalo Bill Cody and made famous by his Wild Wild West shows, which toured the world for 30 years. Our first stop is to the Irma Hotel. Irma was Buffalo Bill's daughter, and every night in the summer at six o'clock is the Cody Gunfighter play. And I use that term very loosely. It's a bit of fun, basically a shootout on the street for tourists, but I wouldn't miss it. Inside the iconic hotel is the famous Cherrywood Bar, a gift from Queen Victoria, and the equally famous all-you-can-eat prime rib buffet. But we wanted some German food, so we sat on the swings at the bar and ate schnitzel and drank German beer at Gasthaus Cardi. Before setting out to the Stampede Park at the edge of town for the nightly rodeo at 8 p.m. It's Abraham's first rodeo. Look, the cowboys and cowgirls come flying out to catch the calf. Then they have to tie him up. Or not. There's also the bucking bronco where the cowboy always gets flung off. And then you've got this clown telling jokes and blowing things up. But even funnier was the kids chasing the calf to get the ribbon. But it was the sunset that stole the show. I'll admit, I've never been a rodeo fan, but that definitely changed tonight. Well, I hate to say this, but our plans have been cut short due to the floods at Yellowstone. So that's a wrap for Roaming Wyoming, part three. But if you loved your trip with us, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for letting us share the world with the world, and we'll see you soon in Roaming Wyoming, part four. It's gonna be great.